Hello everybody, welcome back to the first lesson and today we're going to be doing lesson number 10 Getting ready Poor text Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms 1 Peter 4 verse 10 Paul point We serve God best when we use the gift He has given us the morning breeze blew across the faces of the tired group as they prepared to travel on to another city. Jesus and his 12 disciples had just spent the day at Bethany in the home of Simon the leper. He had given a feast in Jesus' honor for his miraculous healing. At this great feast, a woman had washed Jesus' feet with her hair. The disciples were still trying to understand what Jesus had to say about it. With all the delicious food and fellowship just over, the group was now ready to move on. Time was running short and they needed to get into Jerusalem. They needed to get ready for the celebration of the Passover that was coming in a few days. The Passover was a remembrance of the time when God released the Jews from Egypt. A lamb had been killed for each Jewish family. Because of its blood on their doorpost, the angel of death had passed over their homes. The day after the Passover was the Feast of Unleavened Bread. It was a reminder of the same time when there had been no time to leaven the dough because of the haste where do you want us to make preparations for you to eat the passover the disciples asked anticipating the celebration the passover will not be like any of the others we have celebrated before Jesus thought with sadness in his heart. The scenes of his trial and death crossed his mind. Jesus had a, a plan for this special occasion. He sent Peter and John to make the preparation saying as you enter the city a man carrying a jar of water will meet you follow him to the house that he enters and say to the owner of the house the teacher asks where is the guest room where I may eat the Passover with my disciples. He will show a large room upstairs, all furnished. Make preparations there. Peter and John hurried off to the city as instructed by Jesus. As they stood by the side of the gate waiting, Peter was the first to break the silence. John, let's divide up the tasks we have to do, Peter suggested. Sure, I don't see any problem with that. Since you know the best place to get good unfermented wine, why don't you take care of buying it for the service? John asked, getting into the plan. Okay, John, you are great with getting people. 
you could probably get someone to bake the unleavened bread. So why don't you take charge of that? Peter asked. That's fine with me. Just then a man with a pitcher on his right shoulder walked around the corner. The disciples remembered Jesus' words and hurried their pace, keeping in the sight the man with the pitcher. They followed their guide as he walked briskly down the alley, turning left and winding the right on through the city. Peter and John watched him closely. When they arrived at the house, the disciples told him about Jesus' request. Just wait here for a moment. And I will get my master, the man instructed. Before long, the owner arrived. My masters would like to know where the room you have prepared for him to have his Passover celebration, Peter said respectfully. Let me show you the room. It's upstairs, the owner replied. Peter and John followed the owner into a spacious upper room. It was clean and comfortable, and there was plenty of room for all the disciples uh, to eat this special Passover meal with the ma their master. Peter and John had a good start on making the preparations Jesus had sent them to make. Yes, guys, this is the end of today's Apostles for Christ Junior Lessons. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe. And this was a bit like them following the leader, um, which was last week's lesson. Uh, yeah, so this is the end of today's video. Make sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe. And until next time.